Tesla Model Y contactless delivery. So I just got a call from Tesla just a minute ago that the car is here and um, said to accept delivery on the website, which I did. And now it shows up on, on the app. So that's it. They, uh, the driver left and we're gonna go find out about the car. Let's go see it. All right, so I got my Model Y long range uh, 2021. And as you've probably seen in the previous um, or earlier in the video, I got a call this okay. morning awesome. from the delivery guy. Says, says that, um, you know, he said that, awesome. hey, uh, confirm the pickup time. It was around Thank 12 so o'clock noon. Uh, and he said he was gonna park at the guest parking at my apartment complex and uh, ask me if I want to do a contactless delivery. I did confirm that so he said that the car we parked in the guest parking lot and I had to accept the delivery on the on the website um, which I did I went in there and click on accept delivery and it's already paid for and everything and a few minutes later it showed up in the app so the Tesla app which everything controls through here so it shows up on the app and I went, uh, the guy called me and said, hey, the car is parked there, everything is good, you know, have fun with your Tesla, congratulations. And so I went down to the uh, guest parking lot and there it was, um, my, I call it my blue turtle. Uh, it's kind of weird, but that's the name because the car is blue. Anyways, it, she was just sitting there in the guest parking lot, beautiful looking. And I used the, uh, the, the, the app on my phone to unlock the car and there was uh, there were two key cards inside near the uh, the cup holders here in the middle console so so I got the keys set up the key follow the uh, instructions on the center screen and set up the car key uh, the, the car key uh, using the phone with Bluetooth and it's awesome so the Model Y didn't come didn't come with a key fob like the Model S but it was easy enough. I set up the phone, everything, and it, you know, I, I carried a key card in, in my wallet, but with the phone, you approach the car and it, it just like, you know, if you have a key fob in your pocket, just like a regular car. You can come close to the, to the car and open the door and unlock and everything is perfect. So it's been working flawlessly. And so I got the car and I drove out to the, uh, you know, in the sunlight so I can inspect everything, all the paint and everything because, you know, Tesla is pretty famous or infamously famous around the build quality sometimes. So I check all the gap panels, the paint, and I did find a few issues, like four or five issues, actually more like seven, but they're really minor. Like there's some small chip uh, in the front bumper and there's some, you know, a rubber gasket type of thing so nothing major so I found uh, like a few of those so the guy told me that to go ahead and within 100 miles of delivery and or within 24 hours whichever comes first I should report all those issues take photos report the issues and schedule the uh, 
appointment, a service appointment through the app, which I did. So in the app, there's a scheduled a service section. You go in there, you can describe your issues and you know upload the photos, schedule the time. So I did that. And if you just took delivery of your Tesla, make sure that you do it within, you know, before the 100 mile mark. Um, so that's pretty important. So I did that. I scheduled the services for a couple of weeks away. So we'll, which I'll take them in, and hopefully they'll take care of everything. And yeah, so the whole experience has been pretty good. The uh, communication from Tesla is it's definitely not the best, but so I, I have another Model S that which I ordered, you know, in January of this year, 2021. And I don't even know when I'm, going, when I'm going to get it. So right now it says maybe August, but the date keep going back and forth. And sometimes it doesn't say anything at all. But anyways, the communication on that order on my Model S has been absolutely terrible. There was no, I didn't talk to anyone. I couldn't get any calls back. It was bad. But Model Y, I ordered it on the website. And it was like 3 a.m. when I, was, I couldn't sleep. And I was like, man, my car was giving some issues. My old car and my Model S is not coming in for another who know when, right? So when I saw this on, on the website in inventory, on the Tesla website for this particular Model Y, there's only one on the website at the time. And it it's like, it's pretty good. The configuration, the color I liked. So I, I at 3 a.m., couldn't sleep. I ordered it. Uh just so I can use it until I get the Model S. So I did that. Uh, since then, it's only been a week. Everything was really fast. I didn't see anyone in person at all, right? So I didn't see anyone from Tesla. I got the car. The whole experience is, is awesome. It's very different than a traditional car where you go to a dealership and you talk to a guy, you know, they it's like, congratulations, you take photos or whatever. Very different, very straightforward. And I really like it. Luckily, I didn't have major issues, so... But yeah, that has been my experience ordering the Model Y, the Tesla Model Y, and taking delivery uh, using the contactless method. Let me let me know if you guys have any questions or anything I could help with. Um, other than that, I'm probably going to have a review of the Model Y here coming soon. Also, let me know what you want to know because I, I know there's already a lot of videos on YouTube about Model Y. So, yeah. Uh, stay tuned and um, thank you for watching.